on my way out to meet with Amisha. Are you ready for another transformation? I knew you were. We are rolling out here. He lives in Del Mar, and we are going to make it happen. There is a difference between saying if it's going to happen, and we are going to. So, I know you have a lot of faith in me, you have a lot of faith in Fit Life TV, and you have a lot of faith in Amisha. I can feel your brainwaves are hitting me through this little flip cam that I'm videoing with. So get ready to make it happen. Throughout this video, see what you can do to improve your own health. Maybe there's things that are holding you back. Hey everybody, Amish Shah here, and I'm at my house in Del Mar today, and Drew Canelli just uh, drove over, and I'm ready for a transformation. Um, I'm making this a public thing because I want people to see what I can go through. I've always kind of been big on fixing the mindset and fixing the spirit within, right? There's like kind of three parts to becoming a better human being, that's mind, body, and soul. You know, and I'm, I've always kind of been in the mind and the soul part of it, but I've never actually focused on, on the body part of it. I have, but I've always been in and out. And I think uh, when you master those three, you can achieve new heights and, you're, you know, like Drew says, you're firing on all cylinders. So it's very important, you know, that I'm, that I'm on this mission and I want you guys to join me on this mission and basically follow me as I progress um, to fire on all cylinders and better myself with mind, body, and spirit and body being the most important part and that's, you know, what you put into your body, how you treat your body, exercising, yoga, whatever it is, you know, um, it's time to transform. A lot of you are probably wondering why am I doing this and the reason why is because my father has had two heart attacks and obviously to put it simply I don't want a heart attack and I want to better myself and be preventive you know why wait for that moment always think about how to better yourself in the in the now and be in the present of fixing yourself you know mind body and spirit exactly like I was mentioning before uh, all my dad's brothers and sisters and even his parents have had heart problems so uh, I don't want that to happen and obviously he, he suffered from a lot of stress and so did his brothers and sisters coming from India as immigrants is very difficult and that brings a lot of stress to the family um, and himself so obviously that was a huge factor of it and I've already kind of been on the path of fixing that that's all mindset right stress is all mindset and anxiety and fear and things like that I've kind of blocked that out already and yes it affects everybody it affects me every day but as long as you're aware of the situation you can fix that um, so the next step is getting the physical part of it and the health part of it down. I've always eaten pretty healthy the last uh, four or five years. I'm into smoothies, eating good food, eating fresh, organic, local foods, not eating fried crap or fast food. Um, but I'm totally on the path of getting my physical and the food that I intake even better so that I can become a better human being and transform lives through my transformation. And that's about it, man. Drew, you, you can take it from here. <laughs> Transformation is really exciting for me because I know as soon as one person transforms, everyone looks at that person as an example. So when that person transforms, you're going to look at that person and say, hey, how can I transform? And then people are going to look at you and say, hey, how can I transform? And then we become a nation of transformers. Not like the robot silly, but we become amazing, incredible, and who we were really called to be. Because you have to demonstrate at all levels. So I just went through the fitness test and I realized I'm out of shape. I could barely do enough of what I wanted to do. I knew I could do more. I just couldn't. It's going to be a long 90 days, but I'm up for the challenge, so let's go.